All right, even guys, uh, we start, you know, the, the I, I start when we have a quorum of students, okay? So about 10 to 12 persons before we begin.
Evening again, guys. We soon start. A few more students, and then we begin. There's eight of us. Evening, sir. Good evening, sir. All right, evening, everybody. Uh, good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening, okay. sir. All right, so today I'm going to touch on feature writing. You're going to start the lecture. Um, and then I'm going to give you some time to kind of work through some of the logistical issues that you want to work through in addition to meeting in your groups. Um, so there, there's some suggestion. You, um, Romario says he's not hearing me. Are you guys hearing me? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. I'm here. Okay, so it could be something on your part, Romario. Just check um, your listening devices or the instrument or instruments that you're using. So we're going to start the conversation about feature writing, do a, cl a class activity, and then I'm going to use to give you some time to talk a little bit about some of the suggestions um, about how you can raise funds, as well as to meet in your respective group. So we can do the lecture and then I'll finish up the lecture on Thursday for featured writing. And what I'll do, I'll give you the option to do either a feature or a press release for your mid semester. All right, um, before I start, I usually start out by asking um, any questions, not about group work, please, because I think I've discussed that a million times over. Um, any questions? Okay. Okay, no questions yet, at least not yet. All right, so today we're gonna to start feature writing. I was kind of putting my lecture together. Um, part of the challenges, as I said before, the school itself has not um, 
provided me with the lectures. So I have to be putting certain things together from when I was studying and from different sources. All right, so feature writing. Anybody has ever heard about a feature article or anything like that? Ever heard the term feature writing or feature articles? I haven't heard the term, but yeah, you would see feature articles like in the Gleaner, et cetera, like um, in I think the Observer, the woman part where they would feature either a particular individual or, mm -hmm. or a topic. So I know what a feature article is in terms of it will focus either on a person about their lifestyle, et cetera, or on a company and how it's doing or how it contributes to society. Right. So, so you're very much... Um correct in that the feature focuses on a person a place and of course there are, there are sometimes it features on events for example a hurricane and the, the history of the hurricane and how the hurricane might have impacted people's lives it might be it might even feature on animals and how a particular group of animals within a specific location is either contributing positively or negatively to the environment or affecting farming or whatever so you're very much correct in terms of a feature article focusing on a specific area or a thing or person or event. So today, and I, I'll just make mention of what are some of the learning objectives I forgot to insert in the in the um, in the lecture. So one is to know what is a feature article, and two is to know the different types of feature articles, and three is to be able to identify examples of of each type of feature article on. Thursday, no, we will get into a discussion in terms of getting into the different components of the feature article, as well as beginning to write some sample examples, because this is also needed um, for your press kit for the up and coming artists. You must do at least one feature article on the respective um, artists that you're working with. All right. So feature article is an article that deals with real events, issues and trends. So in other words, it's not fictional. It places emphasis on people involved rather than on the facts of the news. So it's not just people. It can focus on events. Um, and as I said, animals or group of animals. It just depends on the objective of the, um, of the writer. What is it that the writer is trying to achieve? And who specifically is the writer trying to target? So there are different types of human fe um, of feature stories, and one type is human interest. And we're going to look at some examples. And there are, human interest stories are so popular in almost all newspapers across the world, um, in, Jamaica, in the Jamaica Observer, in the Jamaica Gleaner. And we're going to look at some examples. So the most common type um, is the human interest one, and it really reports on someone's success in spite of great odds. Um, it might recall a tragic predicament, you know, the person struggled and is able to amount to something and shares a continuing struggle supported by hope and or faith. Um, I'm sure you even you have uh, you have seen on CVM something, I think it's on CVM, a ray of hope. Yes, sir. Right. So you can think about it in that said. And let's look at an example of uh, a human interest story. So a human interest story is a show focusing on a human being a kind of rags to riches story. All right, so let's look at an example. Let's take this off. And oh, the, there are different examples here. So this is an example of a human interest story. Seven-year-old Lauren, um, whatever that last name is of Beaverton, Oregon, lost her grandmother, grandfather, sorry, in a car crash caused by a teen driver. 16-year-old um, Jessica, man of Greensboro, New um, North Carolina, says her friend died in a late night um, head-on collision when she swerved into on, um, oncoming traffic. And there are just a range of different, um, different types of human interest stories. And as I said before, there are so many of them that are in the Jamaica Observer and the Jamaica Gleaner for ease of reference. I think I even have another example. I should have another example. Why is my slide? Let me go back to slideshow. No, I don't have another example. Okay, so let's let's. I thought I had an, another example. Let's look at something that is a little bit more familiar. Um, Jamaica Gleaner. I thought I actually had an example. Um, student. 
um, student finishes his degree in spite of challenges or oh, despite challenges not in spite despite and teen overcomes challenges to earn her degree this is an example of one and you go through it and you know they give you um the example of how this person was able to um overcome the odds and for now we're just kind of glossing over in terms of the actual examples we're not getting into the actual components of it in terms of the various fee, um, elements of a, of, of, of a feature article, especially if you're going to write a human interest story. So this is an example of one teen overcomes challenges to earn a university degree, um, super, super students struggling against the odds. So you're seeing so many of them, so many feature human interest feature stories that are in the Jamaica Cleaner and the Jamaica Observer, all right? The other type of um, feature is personality feature. And the subject, most times they focus on somebody who's famous, but sometimes they, can, they, they might focus on someone who is not famous, but who has gained recognition because of something that they have done. So think about the Uvalde uh, mass shooting. Let us say that somebody sacrificed his life or her life in order to save others from dying that could be featured. Um, I'm sure there have been several personality features in Jamaica where, for example, um, a Jamaican was struggling with drug abuse but managed to overcome certain things. There have been other ones where they feature on an up and coming artist trying to you know, get, get the backstory to the artist where you're not just hearing about their name and all of that, but you're getting a background in terms of how did they grow up, um, what were some of their challenges, what were some of their triumphs, who were the people in their lives who contributed to their success, and sometimes who contributed to their hardships. All right, so a personality feature is an in-depth look at a, personal, a person's lifestyle, characteristics, emotions, hob hobbies, appearance, or just what makes the person tick. Vividly described in colorful prose, it usually allows the reader to place himself in the eyes of the reporter or the writer. And so there's a lot of description, a lot of descriptions, a lot of adjectives and adverbs are used. The writer should come away from the story feeling as if he or she knows and could recognize the profile. And here is there, there, these are two examples. So this is when they are talking about a tribute to Diane Weiss. And I'm sure even an example, a tribute to, for example, Barbara, Barbara Gluden, who just died, looking at it um, from, you know, talking about her through a featured lens, instead of just giving it hard news or looking at it just as, um, uh, what do you call it again? As a, uh, what do they call that thing? Let me read at funerals again. Uh, eulogy all right instead of it just being a eulogy but in terms of if you're if you're a reporter you take it now and you look at the life of the individual in a very um complex way in terms of you know probably the school that they attended who were their friends what were some of their triumphs and um, what were some of their failures you know what were some of the criticisms sometimes leveled at them um, this one about Drake is really talk. It was really focusing on Drake as um, it really focuses on Drake when he was, you know, this breakout hip hop artist from Canada, because, you know, many of the very successful hip hop artists are born in the United States. So the, again, they focused on somebody who was making waves in hip hop music. Any questions? No? No, All sir. Right. All right. No, sir. Okay, so the other type of feature is the how to feature and it explains how something is done and tells the reader why it is important or beneficial. It explains the steps of the process in detail. It could be something about cooking, but it doesn't have to be something about cooking. Um, can you, based on this definition or based on um, how the how to feature is characterized, can you think of any example that would fall under how to feature? Um, composting, backyard gardening, composting. All right. So, it, yes, yeah. go ahead. Finish there was a feature, I think, um, I'm not sure if it was in the green now where persons were trying to get an idea of how to, you can, how to do your own backyard gardening or composting. Mm -hmm. So they would, they would explain what is required and then the breakdown of how you go about it in detail. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's a 
yeah finish your thought and and as well as they provide um in terms of links where you can get additional information right perfect perfect example and here is another example as well so five healthy eating habits to build and it kind of walks you through you know what is you know character characterized as healthy living and all of that and what are the things you should do and the things that you should not do if you want to really maintain uh, or if you really want to be eating healthy all right so that's an example of a how to feature let me go back to presentation mode and i think i actually have an example right an example here the rise of the foodie bark um bike and how um you know how people are just getting um, helping persons to kind of stay connected with organic food and how that is beneficial to them. I have another example here. Um, how to double your money. So this one now is focusing on how people can, you know, increase the little that they already have. Um, persons sometimes need guidance in terms of what are some of the things that they can do, probably in terms of investments and things like that. So this article, this feature, or this how to feature kind of walks you through how you should or you're able to do that. All right. And as I said, I'm just glossing over, just kind of introducing you to the various types of features before we get into the specificity of structuring the feature, which is very which is very different. All right, so another type of feature is historical events or past events. So this type of feature focuses on historical events or historical celebration. Um, there's a human interest component to it as well. It may provide additional emotional impact on a historical event because it could, for example, talk about the, 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 the train ride that killed five families or five families. Um, it puts a human face on history. In other words, it makes history more palatable and it makes connections between now and then. And I'm almost sure I have some examples, right? So here are some examples now, and I have specifically, these are specific to Jamaica. Um, let me just, I think it just says open hyperlink. So bulleted death, bullet to death door, teenager attempts suicide to escape. This is not it. Was it this? Oh yes, yes, because this is an historical event that was that that really is looking at suicide within a broader context, and and it is say, it's talking about it through the lens of someone's story. So she knew her thirteen-year-old daughter was being bullied at school and had met with administrators begging for them and um, begging them to intervene, but she never expected that it would lead to her watching helplessly as the fifty-four pills were pumped from the stomach of her child. And it kind of walks you through the experience um, or experiences of the child, in addition to some of the emotions of the mother. All right, so it is a historical event and it, tying the past to the future in terms of how is it that teenagers um, experience. Um, what are some of the experiences of teenagers can actually lead to suicide and and it's part of the purpose is really to educate people in terms of knowing to knowing what are some of the signs and even symptoms to look out for as it relates to teenage um, suicide another example is in terms of historical feature the slavery experience and what this does it historicizes Jamaica's independence and emancipation day, kind of giving you a, a, a glance or a lens through which to understand was what was happening at a particular time or that what was happening over time as Jamaica now celebrates independence. So it walks you through from the 19th century into, um, you know, walks you through when, you know, when we had, which day when um, emancipation was declared, um, when we got independence and all the events that happened over time and some of the key players who were involved in that. And as if you notice, it says part one. So this is a historical um, feature that is going to, that is a three-part series. I actually remember this is a three-part series that really helps you to historicize and understand the etymology or the genealogy of Jamaica as an independent state. The other example is from the Jamaica Observer. Oh, I don't need to do that. I just need to open link. 
and he says a nation is born and again now they're kind of walking you through the the birth of jamaica as well as the how the two political parties contributed to the shape of jamaica over time so it kind of walks you through you notice it's, it's much longer because they have to give you a lot of information and a lot of context to help you to properly understand Jamaica as a nation or Jamaica as we uh, as we know it in terms of it being an independent state relatively independent um any questions are we still we're still understanding everything understanding. is good. yes the other one now is the best articles one and this one really is includes the writer's personal experiences with a product and really what it does is kind of a product review to say that you know i'm sure you have seen articles where people write glowing words about like um a play and they're saying like this is a play that you need to go and watch because they have watched it and they're recommending it to other people oh, sorry sorry sir something yes. is wrong with my mic oh I can I, I can mute you. It's okay. Thank you. Yeah. Didn't I claim host? So why am I not able to mute her? I did. So mute all. All right. Once I mute all. Right. So I'm I'm sure you have seen many of the um reviews. Let me see if I can find one. Uh, do I have an example here? But I wanted to show you one. Um for pantomime if i can find it uh, so let's say critics love pantomime pantomime jamaica let's see if i not that No, let me go into the Jamaica Gleaner. Sometimes it's easier to, because of my location, sometimes my pantomime gets, let's say, glowing reviews. All right, let's see if this is one. Right, so here's an example, right? So this one would be an example. Imagine not all magical. And it kind of, it's, it's really speaking about um, the creative arts in a particular way. And sometimes it's, uh, it's good and sometimes it's bad. And usually it's a call to action to prospective persons who have, who, um, who have not seen or watched the movie um, or the play. So it, they might say, okay, based on the review, it's something that you, um, so here it says, imagine we'll be staged again on Wednesday at 8 p.m. So usually this kind of review now is a signal to or a call to action to the readers. Either you go to see, or either you go and see this because this is really, really good, or they're going to say, oh, you, you didn't miss anything. You don't necessarily have to go, all right? And usually I just I, I just can't find the example now because I know one of the persons that writes the review is for the pantomime, Michael Record. I don't know why I'm not able to find um, his article right now, but I know he, for example, that's his area of specialization. He's a journalist, a freelancer now uh, um, at the Glean, and he actually teaches at Excelsior as well. Informational feature now, um, and this shows insights, coverage of a topic, gives information focusing on one aspect of a given topic. So the topic could be corruption or the invasion of Iraq or crime and violence in, in inner city communities in Jamaica, and they're focusing on one specific area. So it refers to sources of research, but it's not like an encyclopedia report. Instead, the writer makes a personal connection to the subject and includes his or her voice. This type does not um, use many of the fiction writer's devices since its purpose is to inform more than to entertain. So, it, so just remember, information is based on facts. So facts for this type are usually obtained from interviews, library search, and personal observation. So I'm, I'm not sure if you have ever 
um, been interviewed by a journalist or have watched a movie where journalists, when they're writing a story and they have to actually go into the towns or into the cities and talk to people to get a sense of, you know, what is it that is happening or what is affecting the town so that they can then put something together because it has to be based on facts and the facts have to be corroborated by sometimes multiple sources. Some news, some news organizations like three to five sources before they go to um, publication. To create interest feature writing includes human interest elements in it, yes, because oftentimes they have to talk about, um, they have to quote people and sometimes they have to give a description of those persons. Its success depends upon the accuracy, facts and the style and the form with which it is presented. And I have, two ex uh, have some examples um of informative features i just need to open the hyperlink i don't know why i keep this. so this is an example january 6 hearings bombshell testimony on trump's anger pardons and ketchup stains and it kind of it it, it really goes in deep it deep dives into some of the things that they are discovering about trump um, in relation to the incursion, well, not, no, not the incursion, but the, the kind of quote unquote insurrection on January 6th post the American election and um, presidential election. And it has a lot of sort, it is properly sourced by a number of persons. They get into people who describe how Trump was behaving at the time and things like that. All right. It, it's very detailed. And I, of course, I'm not going to read it because it's a little bit too long. These are things that you can read on your own. Let's look at another example. I don't know why I keep doing that. Another example is, it's coming up. Um, $9 million probe, MOCA investigates possible breaches in Petrojam, and it focused primarily on what is happening at uh, or what was happening at Petrojam during that particular time. And they're actually citing examples or sourcing, citing examples from the Auditor General's report um, and kind of documenting in very specific details all the things that were happening at the time. All right, and some of the quotes and comments that were said during, for example, the public accounts committee uh, that usually takes place in parliament. So you notice it's very, very detailed. It has um, quotation, um, it has direct quotation, um, quotations from persons who are connected to the, the, uh, the feature story. Another example of information um, or informative features is this. Why do I keep doing that? I just need to open link. Um, bunting on the defensive after confronted with FLA bombshell. And it kind of, it goes into great detail again, because originally bunting was at the time bashing the Jamaica Labour Party in terms of seeing that they were involved in corruption and all of that. And then no, he became a part of the scrutiny. He became a part of the story, right? So this again um, is an example, a, a, a little bit short, um, but is an example of an informative feature. Another example is, I don't know why I keep doing that. Uh, pension bombshell, and this is where the Auditor General now again deep dives into a lot of things and, find, and finds out that there's a lot of things going on. There are a lot of things going on in relation to pension um, and in terms of in breach of the, the different um, legislation or the different laws that are on the books. All right, and you, they usually also get um, quote, uh, or quotes from, for example, attorneys because they want to see, you know, just to get a sense whether or not what the, um, the Auditor General, for example, is saying actually makes sense. So that's an example, another example of informative features. The, let me just go back to sharing screen. The other one now is the news feature. And this brings human interest focus to breaking news. It adds personal involvement to current event. And I give you an example, but I, so here gives you some additional information about news feature. So the news feature is just what the name implies, a feature article that focuses on a topic in the news. So it is newsworthy, but instead of just it being hard news, they're giving you, they're giving you more um, description 
in it. So these articles often are people stories focusing on individuals behind the news, and they often seek to humanize a set of statistics. So a news feature could, for example, um, a news feature could claim, for example, that a community is experiencing a meta, a methamphetamine epidemic. Another example you can think of is when you're talking about, I'm sure you have heard of, that they discovered four bodies in West Kingston today. Yes, Anybody? sir, and that Merciless right. is dead in a, in a hotel. And Merciless a is dead? I didn't hear that one. Yes, that came over. He was found dead in his in a hotel or motel room. Um, a police was found dead in a car in St. Catherine, in Spanish town, and three dead in, um, three persons killed in St. Elizabeth. All of that is in one day? And shoot out a mobile. Yes, and right. Oh, my two, Lord. Jimmy. Two police, two, um, what do you call it, um, official firearm license holder shooting over road rage. Bad oh, yeah, I saw that one. That was like crazy. I'm right, sure they're going to so lose their, 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 everything. Their, Right. Yeah, so yeah they're going to use that. They're going to lose their, their gun license. So those are actually very good examples in terms of uh, unfortunate incidents, um, but of course, good examples in terms of news feature. So in the case of the in the in the case, for example, of um the four persons who were found in somewhere at some um property in West Kingston. So the person could feature could write the feed the news feature in a way you no, know, they're talking about um the crime wave in Jamaica. And then they use the four example, the four, um, the discovery of the four um, um, deceased as, as a way to, cut, to, to have a bigger conversation about um, the crime wave in Jamaica, kind of give it a human face instead of it being hard news, but kind of giving a human, um, giving a, a, a kind of human element to it. So then it, it, it may include quotes and information from people involved in different aspects of the story. So it could, for example, if using that example, it could involve quotes from, for example, the, 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 the deceased mother or family members. It could be um, information or quotes from, for example, the police. It could be a quote from, for example, um, Dr. Um, Herbert Gale, who talks a lot about um, the social pathologies that are affecting Jamaica. And, and also even from criminologists. And you kind of put that, you put it all together. So it's kind of hard and soft news mixed together. That's how I kind of like to look at it. So they say they bring a softer writing style to hard news. This kind of feature story focuses not on a single crime, drug induced death or meth, um, meth related arrest. Instead, it, br it briefly tells the story of one or more of the above mentioned characters, such as referring from meth addiction. The news features seeks to put a human face on a crime statistic to bring the story to life for readers and inform them of the potential problems with the issue. Um, in, in relation to methamphetamine, um, it could be, for example, you're looking at somebody who also um, has recovered from methamphetamine, but the story is really about the epidemic the methamphetamine epidemic in a particular area. All right, do we understand news feature? And there is silence. Yes, they're understanding. Yes, yeah. so yes, I understand, it's just hard to mute, unmute, unmute. Okay, okay. All right, so here, um, here's an example, dolphin safe for four from shark and it kind of goes through um gives you some story and then let me here's another example this one no i have to copy because i can't open from there so saving countless countless lives armed by standard praise for intervening in mall shooting again no it is kind of putting the hard news is mass shootings in America. But the softer side note is kind of talking about it through the lens of a hero or a good Samaritan. So they're focusing on one particular person to say this person kind of came and saved the day. But of course, the big, the hard news is what? Mass shootings in America. All right, that's okay, um, Norian. Larry, sorry. Let's go back to... Sorry, you can go back on the previous slide for one minute, please. This one? Um... Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, so just this is just a, a reminder um, about some of the types of features that we talked about. We talked about the human interest feature. Let me just mute everybody. 
um, human interest um, feature story that discusses a person um, or people or a companion animal in an emotional way. It presents people and their problems, concerns, or achievements in a way that brings about interest, sympathy, or motivation in the reader or um, viewer. Profile or personality. This feature type focuses on a specific individual's character or lifestyle. This type is intended to help the reader feel like they have gotten into a gotten a window into someone's life. Often these features are written about celebrities or other public figures, but they are not always written about those persons. The how to one, how to feature articles teach readers how to do something. Oftentimes the writer will write about their own journey to learn a task such as how to make a wedding cake, historical features, um, features that honor historical events or developments that are quite common. They are useful in juxtaposing the past and the present, helping the, the, the reader to understand the shared realities. Then we have, we never touched on seasonal. No, we didn't touch, we touched on informational in terms of informational features you now gives a lot of um, um, information relating to, um, for example, a political issue, um, a lot of sourcing, a lot of statistics, a lot, a lot of direct quotes, just to show that there's corroboration. All right, the other one, I think I've reviewed all of them. Let me just make sure that I, the news feature, you now we talk about the news features that it's really hard news being given a human component. Right, a, a, a kind of um, is a, a hard hard news being made palatable. Um, yeah, don't want to touch this yet. F class activity. What I want you to do for me, and I'm going to make sure. Let me just put this in the because you guys are still not seeing anything on on Canvas, and I've spoken to them about it a million and one time. I'm not sure why they haven't fixed that issue. So let me put it in the WhatsApp group. Okay. And I'm not sure if persons uh, remember to continue to work on your on your press kit. All right, let me know if you're seeing it in the WhatsApp group. Yes, sir. OK. So the class activity you're going to do for me, I'm going to put you in groups. These groups, this group is going to be very random. You're going to find one example of each. That's all. One example of each type of feature story. Everybody understands? Yes, sir. Okay. So as I said before, we're not going to, not yet, we're not going to get into the technical, like the components and the elements of the feature story. That's not what is important. What I first want is for you to just to understand the different types of feature stories, how they look in terms of, you know, like how you're able to kind of identify them based on the characteristics or based on the purpose, then no, thereafter, we get into a discussion about the structure of the, the, the different elements that must be included in your feature story. So breakout rooms. Right, so to get this straight, you need, a you need us to go in the group and find a feature story. Yes, you're going to, I'm going to put you in the breakout room and you're going to find one example of each type that we looked at. So I came on a bit late, but... Um, and this is where your the group members will will help yes. you to understand, okay? Okay, sir. Okay. All right. So, so remember, no, this is not based on the groups that you're for your for your for your major event. This is just random class activity. All right. So don't say, sir, I, these persons are not in my group, and you know it's it has nothing to do with that. This is just class activity. Okay. Okay, sir. All right. All right. So you may go into the group um the groups now. Remember, you're just finding one example of each type. All right. Going to the, the, the breakout rooms. I've opened the breakout rooms. Lots of people have not gone into the breakout rooms.
So Larian, Trevor, and Venice, you're not in the breakout room. Trevor and Larian, not in the breakout room.
Hi, good evening, sir. I, I, I got drop off. Can you put me back in room five, please? Well, sir, are you there? Sir, are you there? Sir, are you back? Sir, are you back?
Sir, are you back? All right, so now that we're coming out of the break, or, oh, my light is off, give me one sec. Post when my light is off. Sir? Yes. I was calling you to tell you to put me back in my breakout room because I, I got dropped off the, the meeting. Okay, I was at the bar, I, I went to the bathroom, sorry. I think, sir, that's okay. Mm -hmm. So the breakout room, 30, 28 seconds remaining. Sir. Yes. I got logged off and I didn't realize till now. Could you place me back in the breakout room, please? We are it. coming out of the breakout room. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Six seconds remaining. All right, so we're all out the breakout room now. All right, so room one, Carrie Ann, Donovan, Jessica, Latona. Um, can you just share screen and walk us through your examples? Um, room one, Carrie Ann, Donovan, Jessica, Latona. Go ahead for me, please. Hi, sir. We're here. Um, Jessica, are you able to share? Get a few minutes, please. We're listening. Okay, sir. Um Our group, well, for human interest, this is the article that we found that was written by Olivia Brown mm -hmm. on the farm worker vendor that got ready for, ready to collect her degree. Mm -hmm. So I'm not telling the entire article. No, I never said in there to tell us then. If you want to give us a summation, that's okay, but we don't need to, we don't want the entire article. Oh, okay. Well, so this is just like an inspiring article about an individual that came from the South Coast, which is Clarendon, mm -hmm. aspiring to, to get her degree um, that does mark, uh, that sells in the market as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. The personality feature was um, the article that was done on Shellyan qualifying for the 200 meters, but at the same time, highlighting her love for hair and how much she always emphasizes her hair whenever competing. So as it headlines, Shelly and Fraser Price fixed his wig mid-race, but still qualifies for the world's 200 meter. Okay. So I didn't get to put the article here, but it was an article on, um, I was trying to find it. I don't know if any if you probably know her. She goes by cooking Whitney's Kitchen mm. on Instagram. She usually does cooking on Instagram and then she she got a feature on, I think it was Glena, where mm. she they highlighted that she's always cooking on Instagram in her kitchen and then she got some deal with Grace, I think. Mm -hmm. But you're sure that's not a personality one instead of a how to? she was showing how to cook like how to do something no like so, her, her. so so her so her so in the article is she teach is she I, going like how to cook something 
after I saw it was more video wise that, that I saw, but I thought. Mm -hmm. There was like an article about everything and they were giving like the breakdowns of how to do the dish that she had that she did and that the interview thing. Mm -hmm. It sounds me. more to me that she has her own Instagram page and she does her how to things on Instagram, but the article itself was a personality feature, not a how to feature. That's how it sounds to me. Um, based on uh, based on your own words, it sounds to me like it's a personality feature with somebody who does her, you know, what I call what demonstration videos um, on um, Instagram. But continue, you're at least you're thinking. Sure, never get to this mm -hmm. at all. But then the last one, which was informational, sir, it's the most recent story on Donna Lee Donaldson. Mm -hmm. You sure this is a yeah? Go ahead. Sir, which um, I chose this because it was giving an update on the story, mm -hmm. on the mm -hmm. recent story that the constable uh, refused to give a statement. And they were also mentioning some other stuff, like other information relating to her recent case that they're mm -hmm. trying to solve. It sounds like hard news, though, not soft news. It sounds hard, like hard news, like if because if they're just giving an update, that sounds like just a normal news report, um, not an informational feature. It could, it sounds that way to me. And I think I, I think I actually read this article and I, if I remember correctly, it's not informational, it's more hard news. But as I said before, this is a start. You're being introduced to it, so I'm happy that you're thinking, okay? okay. Sir, um, may I add something? Yes, go ahead. So for the informational, there was a feature for SLB where they were telling um, viewers or readers about the new online um, aspect of application. Mm -hmm. Would that be an informational feature? No, that's, that sounds like hard news as well, because if they're just giving oh. you information about... So remember, you know, the feature makes it soft. Mm -hmm. The feature story give, adds descriptions, and so you're just using adjectives and adverbs and stuff like that. So the, 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 the informational one now could be, for example, where they're kind of walking you through the, um, the, the kind of give you, let's just say that something goes wrong at, at, at SLB, and they're really giving you a lot of information from different sources about what is happening at SLB. But not just that SLB, you know, if they're just giving information about the fact that, okay, you know, SLB, you can apply um, for your loan doing these things. Even if they give you, um, bam, 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 it's still not even a, a how to feature. It's just a how to hard news. So just remember okay. that the, 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 the feature, you now it has a human component to it. A, a very, it it's called soft news. All right? Okay. It's not very hard and heavy. Okay, sir. All right. Thank you guys very much. I think that's where you guys stopped. Oh, sir, um, yes. if I may, may I Go just ahead. elaborate on the how-to feature? Mm -hmm. I was trying to put it um, in the chat so Jessica could share, but for some reason it wasn't going through. So what I read was that the, the how-to feature speaks about shared experiences, um, like somebody's experience, they would share it. How-to? Um, the how-to, that's what it was saying. In the and notes that I gave you? No, based on um, the example that I, 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 I researched, okay. it says um, it's talking about shared experiences where uh, I may share my experience of how to write a business proposal, for example, with, with other persons. Yeah, but you actually need an article, though. That's just telling you an example, but you need an actual article for right. me to so determine I'm... whether. Go ahead, finish your thought. So I would first research the article and then share that experience on how to write a business proposal, for example. No, so that's not how you, that's not a how to feature. So how to feature is an article or a featured article on how to, for example, um, draft a business plan and they kind of wrap that how to into a story about how Margaret opened her own business. Okay, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, no problem. Thank you. Yeah. No props. Um, I think that's it for room one. Yes, I think so. Um, room two, Kumiko, Larian, and Tajira. Go ahead for me. Room two.
go ahead. We're listening. Um, we're seeing the screen, but nobody's talking. Sorry about that, sir. I was trying to un find the unmute thingy. All right. So for human interest, I found this article with Alkaline. He and his team participated in their foundation by giving back to the Maxville Park Home. Mm -hmm. They don't donated monetary contributions, and it was just like a feature to share with the public about what they were doing. Also, uh, his in the article, he show um, back in 2020 during COVID, New Rose, it got canceled, but his team said that it was, even though the show was canceled, it's a way that would make them more focused on trying to find places to give back to. And mm -hmm. they end up choosing the Maxfield Park Home. So mm -hmm. the monetary contributions would put towards products well, we don't need to get the, we don't need to get the specificity of the article. All right. So the first thing I'll say to you, I, I, I'm happy you start, but this is not a this is not an example of a human interest story. This is hard news to be uh, to be very honest. This is not a example of a human interest story. Remember, I said for human interest, there's a kind of rags to riches component to it. So you have to think about somebody going through a very hard to going through very hardships and then um, being very triumphant. So usually, so if you look at the example that Roman shared, that's a perfect example of um, a human interest story. So, but this is hard news. This is not um, uh, a, 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 a human interest story. All right. Let, okay. Let's see the others and see if you, um, if the others are okay as well. If the no, others are okay. members founded we're working on the others, so they would have to share screen. All right, so I'm speaking to Kumiko. So, Larian and Tajira, go ahead. Sir, like I said, I logged on late, and I wasn't sure how to, like, let me show you what I found. Let me share my screen. Sir, share screen. Um. No, wait, sir. Click on something else. Oh, here it is. Oh, I get this thing down. What is that way? Oh, you can move. All right, sir. Um, Can we see the article? This is it? Sir, I'm not sure if this can be classified as anything, sir. But Just maybe... talk and stop asking questions. You need to speak with confidence. Just talk and stop asking questions. Okay, sir. So this is an article about two young people. Mm -hmm. I think it's like entertainment. Oh, I'm taking it, sir. It's an article about two young people who started dating in high school. They shared a little mm -hmm. bit of like challenges that they went through and mm -hmm. how the female had her deputy badge and then she lost it because she was dating someone that wasn't so um oh they classified now like he's from a clique so you know I'm more of a um bad crowd and how she you know basically what they went through to keep their relationship going and then it showed where at the end of everything, they ended up getting married and had a son and all that. And all that. Mm -hmm. So what type of feature is this? Sir, let me tell you now. Mm -hmm. it's, sir, I can't remember it, but Kimoko was telling me basically based on, she never told me the right word, but based on what they were explaining to me, it would be like um the, the interview kind of um, feature story. So interview so this would be a human interest example this would be a human interest yes, story yes that that sir she was explaining it to me so i was saying that this would be that by the way sir this article is about myself oh this is you yes sir i so, when i read it i said to myself hold on go back up actually go back up to the start i actually read this article go back um no to the first to the to the lead go to the first paragraph let me see if i was it the first paragraph? 
I think I saw the name and I was like, how would the name sound so familiar? Because sometimes I Google my student's name, you know, just to see, it, because I can't see you physically, I kind of want mm -hmm. to see how you look. And I'm like, why this name? So I actually read this article because I like you. I like feature stories. So I usually read all of them. So this is a perfect example of a human interest story because it kind of tracks, it traces the, the, the life of two um, um, happy married couple from when they were in high school and the difficulties that they experienced as high school students and how they are now, you know, getting married and all of that. Yes, yes, Janelle, I, I Google my students. I never said I Google you, but I, I do Google um, search for students just because I want to put a human face um, to, to the yes, student. Yes, you, you find me Google, but I don't on your name. <laughs> oh, you know, you say for them. Okay, so this is a, a good example of a human interest story. Um, so that's Tajira Larian. You want to know share screen or is it that Tajira, you have some you have some other examples sir, i don't know where it went but i was looking at a sports one sir and it's not something similar to um it was talking about um shelly Ann and how she was how would i put it sir like she was dragging to the waist or something mm -hmm. like that sir and um it was basically given an update that she made it in the 200 meter, but she was hard news. Dragging though. That's not feature. That's hard. It wouldn't news. be a feature, sir. No, that's hard news. Sounds like hard but news. But that would have me. been hard news. Oh, if they were but telling the know. story about Shelly and no, um, going back to where I think she's from Maxfield or something like that. No, sir, she wasn't going yes, at full speed. Right. Was... So if they're no, no, I'm saying it, it would be a feature story if they were not talking about Shelly now being one of the greatest athletes, um, sprinters in the world, but us, but instead of just focusing on her medals or on her accomplishments, but actually going back now to where she's from, she's from Maxfield, quoting people who knew her at the time, it could, it could actually even be informational in terms of how to, um, talking about giving a lot of, or, or, um, giving a lot of information about the recipe to her success. All right, so just remember that the feature no is, it has to have that very human component to it, must have that for it to be a feature. You have to distinguish, and I think in the next lecture, I'm going to find some time to make a distinction between hard news that is very, if you notice, for example, the press release is considered what? Hard news. It just gives you information. There's no um, you don't use metaphors and similes, you don't use adjectives and adverbs, you don't use any of those, hardly use those kinds of stuff in when you're looking, when you're using, uh, when you're writing a feature story. All right, so you, that's something I'm going to look at in the following lecture, now, making a distinction now between hard news and feature story. Well, thanks very much, room two. Room three, I'm seeing Cameron Cargill and Venice Harris, go ahead. Sir, I was also in room three as well. Oh, um, Rona, yes. Yes, sir, I was cut off. I was telling you earlier. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, for the, sir, someone yes. was saying something. Yes, somebody was talking. I don't know if they go ahead. Why they stop sharing screen? Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. But I was saying I would do do a present a PowerPoint presentation and all. Yeah, that's but, okay. Um, we, I'm going to share some of the, the first one that we found was a how to feature. Mm -hmm. Um, this article basically gives us info, gave us information about the gas and how the prices are going up, and basically how motorists can calculate an alternative route and find out, you know, what's the estimated amount of gas that their car is consuming. So it gives us about couple steps so they can use uh, we use this as a whole to feature mm -hmm. article the article don't come up yet it, it seems as if you'd have to share your full screen if you don't share your full screen then you have to stop sharing and then go share again for us to see the article because i okay. see i, I um, saw that you clicked on it but you didn't because it didn't share your full screen that's why we're not going to write you see it now yes just go up to the top let's see how to find your fuel consumption scroll down let us see if it's a Feature, scroll. Oh, no, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Up, 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 yes, I wish to print. Yes, yes, this is a how to feature. Perfect example of a how to feature. Very nice. Perfect okay. example. All right, so the other one we found was the news feature. 
Mm -hmm. um, for this one, I'm not too sure because you're explaining about the hard news. Um, mm -hmm. But let me see. So basically, this is saying that, you know, there some kill, kids were crash, were killed in a car crash. So they were just emphasizing on how the parents feel um, in regards to the news. And I guess they kind of use soft words to describe it, even though it's such a heartbreaking news. Mm -hmm. Scroll down, so, let us see. So, uh... Yes, this is actually a good example for of a news feature, you are, it is a news feature. Okay, sir, all right, and human interest. Mm -hmm. um, based on an article in Yemen, a young girl overcomes adversity to excel in school. Mm -hmm. So she, person, it basically um, give a synopsis of bullying. Mm -hmm. I'm not being able to stand up for herself, but still excelling in school either way. Oh, okay. Okay. Very nice. All right. And uh, uh, Venetia, I believe, will go ahead and do the historical and past events. Yes. Well, basically, for the historical, it was just telling all independence came about and what was happening on the night of independence, all the activities that um, they did. Mm -hmm. Hold on, we didn't get a chance to scroll through the article. Why are you rushing it? Let's see. Yes. Uh... Yes, yes, all right. You can go on to the other one. And this and the seasonal Well, the seasonal one is not the, it's not one that we're going to I was speaking about the rainfall occurring. Yeah, but the, the seasonal one is not one that we're interested in in the course, okay? So this one you don't have to share because we're not interested in this one. Okay. This type of feature, I, I mean. All right, okay. so thank you so very much, room three. You actually hit the nail on the head for everyone. Though. Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> um, Ronnie, you can go ahead with yours. Well, I already did some examples, so that's fine. It's fine to me. Um, um, one of the stories here was... No, um, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Which one are you... Are you talking about one that they spoke about already or are you going to give us one that they haven't spoken about? One that they haven't spoken about. So share screen. We want uh, to see it because that's the only way we will know if it's a feature or not. I'm sorry. Um, would you go for a screenshot? Yes, we can. A screenshot probably can help us. Or if you want to put the link in the WhatsApp group and I could share a screen for you. You're going to put it in the WhatsApp group? I'm just going to share the screen for the screenshot. Too. Okay, all right. Sir Macriel for the personal personality feature. Macriel. Yeah, but the, but the title alone can't tell us though. We would have to see what is written. We, the title alone, Macriel defends taking people, man. That is that the title alone doesn't even suggest a feature. This would be personality feature. The story, sir. This is this is a story. All right, one of our Instagram. No, this is not a feature. We would, we would need much more than this for it to be considered a feature about mackerel. Does it go? That does it dive deep dive into her um or, or upbringing, um giving us additional information other than just her being a, a social media sensation? It's okay. no, no. We 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 would want to get additional information. 
let what I would love for you guys to do is to pay attention to see if they actually do a feature on um the what's his name who just was 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 killed was found dead um is it merciless Sir, yes, right. It it should be good to see if we could get if they would actually write a feature. So instead of just writing the hard news, merciless is dead. He was found dead in a house. Blah blah blah. blah but actually, um, probably I think his mother died or something. That he was very he was very close to his mother, um, okay. and she died. And I think he also went to prison. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he went to prison and it seems as if he suffered some amount of depression as well, even though it's not really public. That's what I heard via the grapevine. I don't know. So if they could actually do a feature that kind of just move, just kind of humanize him so people can understand him a little bit more, for example, through a mental health. 24, to, 24 hours to a week, sir, because I said that it was it didn't seem like it was foul play how he died. Mm -hmm. So give them 24, give the, the Jamaicans or the, the news reporters 24 to a week. Mm -hmm. article to come out yeah let's see if they do it because it could be that they do hard news instead of something instead of a feature but i i like features because features get you it gives you a little bit more um information you know and, a little yes, bit more yes. insight and perspective help you to kind of contextualize um additional information um the i think that was room three room four cassandra rose shanice Shel shelian tonian Good night. Uh, let me just go ahead with the first one. Mm -hmm. oh, hold on. Let me share my screen. Okay, so people like one... to show me. What you're showing me. You're showing me. I know I'm beautiful, but you don't have to always show me. Okay. <laughs> so this one um is is it's about the human interest. Mm -hmm. And this is basically a young well he's a he was given up to die at mm -hmm. birth. Are you seeing my screen properly? Yes, I am. I am. However, I actually read the story, so I'm familiar with it. Yes. So, however, he became triumphant, and he has one of the highest averages in the in 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 pep math English. So that's a story of of hope. So mm -hmm. That's an example of um human, human interest. interest. Yes, perfect example. Yes, and the other group members will um explain theirs or I give their examples rather. And go ahead, thanks. Hello, other group members, Shelly and Cassandra, yes. So this is a feature in the Observer All Women. Five women tested dark spot character. She mm -hmm. shows products that can correct dark spots, example, turmeric and lime, it tells you the problem and how to mix the product. Mm -hmm. So what type of feature is this? How to. Okay, okay, yes. Yes. So it's also totally about baking soda and onion, how it can treat acne. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is a good example of a how to feature. Um, is it that others are going to share or you're going to share another one? So Ruth, they have examples, so there's a quote here. Okay. Sir, I'm trying to share my screen. I'm not sure what is happening. Were you the one trying to share a while ago? Yes, I'm trying to share. I I, I went around and found a beautiful article on um, the Olympic website of um, Shelley and Fraser Price. Mm -hmm. But you were actually about to share. You were but the one that took I it off the screen. And it said, oh, it was, I, I wasn't seeing it coming up. So I, I clicked or you can share else? the link in the chat and we can share it. Uh, I can share it for you. Okay, all right. In the share. WhatsApp group, not the chat. WhatsApp. Because if, I'm going to do that now. Yeah, it, better WhatsApp because when you share it in the chat, sometimes it gives trouble. So let me log into WhatsApp. Yes, I think, yeah, it's there now, sir. It's there um, yes. in the WhatsApp? Yes. 
All right, so let me open it for you and we can make a determination. I think somebody had shared something about struggling. Oh, I think probably that's for another group. Well, right, well, so sir, I, I, I try to change every, every I, people keep saying what I was about to say with different persons. So I just had to find one and stick with it. All right, so this but, one is, which type of feature is this? So Shelly and Fraser type. Um, I, I was more thinking that it would fit um, 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 personality. It says it's mm -hmm. more like a profile of the person, mm -hmm. um, their accomplishments over the years. Um, we, we look at their, their, their history, um, their personality. You know, the editing talks about her being a, a role model. And, 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 can you go back to the top, sir, of the article? Yeah. So it, the, the way it right, so it, it looks at her from um, different um, angles um, to her personality, the role model, the author, the superstar. Mm -hmm. um, when I look at the definition of um, the prof, the personality profile, it says it looks at detail of who the person is, their accomplishment. Mm -hmm. So this art, this feature article that was done um, during the Tokyo World um, Championship. Olympic. Mm -hmm. It looks at um, just where she began. Um, mm -hmm. it, it also looked at um, her transition over the years. It looked at the fact that she stayed in Jamaica. It mm -hmm. looked at her rivalries over the years, which shows her um, type of spirit that she has in terms of her competitiveness. She doesn't give up. So mm -hmm. um, I and it, it looks at what she has accomplished. She was about to try and get her third. Um, um, gold medal consecutive. Mm -hmm. I mean, it didn't work out, but it was a feature prior to the mm -hmm. Olympics itself. So I, yeah, I so this like is a look at her um, in a very detailed way from different angles, and mm -hmm. I thought that was a good one. Yeah, it's actually a very, 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 very solid example of a personality feature. You're very correct. Um, very, very good example of a personality feature. So thanks for that, um, Cassandra. I, okay. I think Shanice or uh, Ruth, are you guys are going to also share with us or because Cassandra, Shelly and Antonia, and they have shared. I don't remember if Shanice joined the class late or, oh, she's sharing. Good. So, so I was late, so I, I, I didn't get to read this article, mm -hmm. but I think we're not hearing it so clearly, okay? Here we know. Yes, a little better. So sorry, I didn't get to read through the entire article or at all, but the, the, the whole it's not um it's not dead history, it's our story. Mm -hmm. So basically he's saying that Jamaica is Jamaica. All right, so kind of right. slowly stroll through. So let us glance at the article for ourselves just to see if it's hard news or a feature. Yeah, so what type of feature is it? Um, historical. Um, scroll through, it seems, scroll through for me. Scroll, scroll. Yeah, so historical feature. I think it's looking more at our, uh, at our musical history than uh, Jamaica history per se. It's so, it seems that way, but it is a historical feature. Um, Ruth, are you going to share anything with us? Thanks, um, Shanice, for actually, even though you're late, you um, managed to, to produce something. That's very nice. Ruth, are you going to share anything with us? Yes, sir. All right, go ahead. Yes, sir. And the, the past event, it's the, the feature is about Mary C4 and mm -hmm. what can be done. To yeah, but where's the article itself, though? 
could we see the article? So not just the PowerPoint, but the actual article. I don't know if you have the link to the article. You're, you're seeing it? No, I'm seeing your PowerPoint. But I'm, I'm talking about the link to the, art, the actual article so we can determine whether or not it's hard news or if it is a feature. One moment, yes. Okay. And while she's doing that, room five, you know you're next. Um, Romario and Tanika, not sure who else was in room five. Much more if I need to preserve her heritage. Yes. Um, scroll, let us see. Editor, so. Yeah, it's more an editorial. That's what I was just about to say. It's more an editorial than an actual feature. Um, scroll, let's scroll still, let us see. Yeah, it's really an editorial. It doesn't have any, um, because historical features usually have a lot of historical data, oh. um, uh, historical facts. So, because remember, you know, the feature now is not fictional. It's very, um, even though this is not fictional, it's just that it doesn't have any kind of, it just has word, figures that are historical, but it doesn't give us a historical overview of, 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 a, see, of a specific incident or event that happened in the past or, or an individual. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But nice, right? So thanks. Um, room five, Romaria, Tanika, I'm not sure who else was in the room, so I can only call your names. Sir, each person will be sharing the what they have um, mm -hmm. identified. I'll go first. Mm -hmm. I have identified a how-to. I was okay. looking through the Gleaner and the Observer. I did find an article in the, Obser in the Gleaner, but I did not like how limited it was. Mm -hmm. So I decided to go international. And I, it's still the how-to in terms of, are you seeing the screen? It's coming up. It's very slow. I must apologize. So okay. it's a how to step guide on how to enrich compost and enrich your garden. So it talks about what is composting. Mm -hmm. It actually tells you what also are the, the different types of composting. Mm -hmm. What is required in terms of what you can use, fruit scraps, vegetable scraps, etc. Mm -hmm. And how to make a hot one with instructions. Mm -hmm. as well as a wet compost okay yeah yeah this is a this is a how to feature thanks you're welcome sir very straightforward and very very straightforward yes and you find them a lot in those kinds of um i don't know if you would want to call it lifestyle magazines or yes they are yes i was trying right the lifestyle magazine you'll find a lot of how to especially in those right. depending on the type of magazines right right um, next person, Romario, go ahead, or the other persons. And remember, I want to give you a few minutes to discuss. Um... Who else was in room five? Where are those persons? Romario, are you there? Okay, I am not. Uh, yes, he's. I was having an issue with my system. Okay. Um, apologies. So I did the profile. Was it profile? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, what I want to call it, personality um feature or profile feature. Yes. So I found a article with our beloved Spice. Mm -hmm. So um, cited from poverty to owning houses, Spice breaking generational curse. So it spoke of her background, where she was coming from, like, um, you know, she ever had to when she normally was barefoot to school, her, she lost her house and stuff like that. So this article was stating all that stories. Mm -hmm. And it also linked to her article that she did with Forbes magazine, which basically covered the entirety of what she was talking. Well, they went more in depth from mm -hmm. the dancer magazine. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. So this is which type is this? Personality. Um, you did say personality, yes. right? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. So this is a very good example of a personality, um, personality feature. 
I was actually trying to find an example like this. So you you beat me to it, Romari. I was searching down the place and I couldn't find an example because I really wanted to bring it closer to dancehall or reggae, but I, I, I just wasn't um, able to. So very, very, um, very good um, example. Was there anybody else in room five? I think we had um, Janelle. Was it Janelle? Janelle, is she on the plan? Janelle Mills, go ahead. Yes, yes sir, but I got disconnected. Oh, so you never got a chance to find anything? No, sir. Okay. Kimberly Richards, I don't remember if you presented anything. Can't remember. I don't remember calling your name. And Trevor Brown, I don't remember calling those two names. Sir, it's really hard for me to share screen right now because I'm still at work checking in a lot of people. Oh, I have like okay. five more persons to check in, but I'm going to send mine in the WhatsApp group. All right, so that's 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 okay. Yes, please do share it in the WhatsApp group because one of the things that I want to ensure is that you guys understand the different types of features. However, um, the feature that you're going to do, you can choose whichever type, but I would go more for the, the human interest or the personality one because it's closer to what the, the, the artist that you're looking at. So as I said before, it's important for you to kind of have a conversation with the artist and see how best you can actually, you know, div to write a feature story about the actual artist, okay? All right, so at this point in time, I'm not going to go any further with the lecture. What I'm going to do, I'm going to ask Tony, and she has a suggestion um about you know she just has a suggestion and i just want her to kind of say it aloud and then we can have a discussion all right so please do not if you don't agree or disagree just hold your thoughts allow her to speak and um and and we can discuss the merits of the of the recommendation go ahead tonya okay thank you sir good night again everyone hold on one second yes yeah, so as i stated uh in the group I did send the information in regards to the sponsorship letter to Mrs. Black. So I'm awaiting for it to be signed and sent back to you guys. However, I was suggesting being that the event is basically two and a half weeks away, what we could do is to start pooling some funds together. And also if, cause I, um, I'm not sure if you guys did come to a conclusion in regards to which one of the packages we're going to choose but based on the discussion we had last class i thought it was the one where we're going to edit where we'll allow the person to edit the the show so it's just a suggestion you can let me know what you guys think you guys hear what i said i don't know if you hear me no, I was going to ask you if you could repeat the suggestion in the phone. The ear was in my ear for the hear. We hear me now? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. yeah, I'm saying, all right, the event is basically two and a half weeks away. And um, what I was suggesting is that what we could do is to start pooling our funds together so everybody could start putting their little contributions together, depending on which one of the packages we choose. But based on the discussion we had um, in, the, in previous class, I thought it was the 85,500 that you, you guys wanted to go with. So we can just come to a conclusion where that is concerned. And for everybody who's wondering what the packages are about, we have oh. two packages. We have the 85K, which was basically, as Sarah stated last week, we we'll basically have the edited version. So it's basically will be pre-recorded and then we'll cut on whatever. So we don't have any, you know, right. any glitches. glitches. So we'll fix it up to make it more presentable. While, um, correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Clark. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the other package was $65,000. Yes, and that's live. That would be the live one. So basically, we basically like you know Instagram live. So basically, going live and letting artists perform. And you know, when we have live recordings, we may have a few hiccups because you know it's live. So I think it's best for us to make a decision now on which package we want to do, but use or do, so we can have proper clarity on how much we need each. Right. Wouldn't so, have. Yes, Jessica. 
Sorry. Go ahead. I don't think it would be feasible to do it live. While it's the cheapest option, and I would love that, to do it live would be difficult for especially my group, where our artist works on a ship. And oh. we can't really need to be you can't, we're not here, Jessica. You can't chip it on. Oh, no, oh, sorry. My artist and me get assigned works on a ship. And I haven't even met with him as yet. Or my group hasn't even met with him as yet. So I doubt he'll even be available to do anything live. Okay, but we're so. prefer the 65 still. Because if we for divide 85,000 by 20 persons, it's 4,200 per person. I'm not sure if we'll be able to pull any or get any funds from the sponsorship in being realistic in two weeks. Okay, that's, that's, that that's is why I mentioned um, we can start say, pulling oh, the funds. But, 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 next week, link my next week. And it's not going mm -hmm. yeah, that's, why, that's why I made that suggestion. Um, quick question, Jessica, for your artist, Say we do a pre-recorded um thing, he would have time to make a pre -rec um, a recorded video of him performing or something like that. Or good. Oh, I would have to ask her for the body, you know. I, I I talk to him, but what I suggest you do, see if you can find something for him on um. What up, uh, yeah. On the on that you can repurpose. See That's if you can find. Video find like his recordings and repurposes i'm actually trying to post the to um all right let me but let me talk to i'm going to call him more once i finish the class i'm going to call him so that was one. sir can you confirm how much persons are in this class i thought it's, last time it said about 30 it says 35 on the so i can actually share screen and show you um so I'm not sure where the other persons are. And I know because it's summer school, some students say, oh, they're not coming to class. And, and because there's no final exam and, you know, they do all these crazy things. But so if you look here, how many students? 31. Okay. But if it's, if it's 85, by by. It says 81. Um, basically 2,700 and something dollars. Right. If, so some of the names, the right, I know amount. some of the names, I don't know. $2,741. That's if the 31 students pay because they must say under 31 right. come to class every week. Somewhere, so, and I think some, I keep seeing people exiting the group, so I'm not sure if they drop the course or... No, but this is the, this is what was sent to me today for the class, from yesterday to today. So these oh, are students okay. who are registered on the system in the class. Okay, sir. Yeah, so I, I honestly don't know how to interpret it either because I know... From my own experience as a teacher, you know, some students, you think they're not in the course, but they're on, they're in the course, but the moment they find out it's not, there's no written final exam, oh, I don't have to go to the class. Or, you know, they find other ways, you know, they find their different excuses of doing their thing. So what I suggest you do, see if you, and this is just my humble suggestion, you don't have to follow me. So let's just say each person has to come up with 3000 or $4,000, beg 2000 and if you can contribute 2000 or Contribute 1,000 and beg 3,000. See if you can balance it that way. I'm going to put something. I'm going to definitely put something towards it. All right. So um, these are just suggestions. I think by tomorrow, Tonya should be able to share the sheet. But as she rightly says, the event is within two and a half weeks thereabouts. So um, it would be good for you to kind of get things um, out the way, um, you know. Right. Yeah, it and, would be good. Yeah, go ahead, Tonya. Yes, I was going to mention also in regards to the um, promotional flyer. I know I'm not tech savvy that way to create a flyer. So I don't know if anyone in the class will be able to do it so we can get that up and running. I mean, I will have to um, create a flyer and that would have to be sent to Matthew. Right, for him to... To, to do his thing. Right. Um, so I don't know who um, has, has those skills. Skill set. Why am I not seeing? I put it here. That's not it. Anybody? Boy, oh, here they are. So I'm going to share the invoices in the WhatsApp group and you can see exactly what the package is about. Okay. All right. So that's something we can, um, we can, um, 
we can work on in terms of the, the skill set if persons can actually get somebody to do the promotional flyer as well. Let's continue the dialogue in that regard. Um, I don't know if you guys, as I said before, see if you can reach. Oh, Tony, and when did you say your your sunrise sun um sun sun city interview? Is it Friday? Yes, it's Friday. Okay, okay. What time is it on Friday? Twelve oh five. Oh, I have an interview at one o'clock. So it's just We're, 10 minutes. So no, no, I'm not late from, I'm not going to be late for my interview. Are you crazy? Just record it and I'll watch it after. I'll put it on live. Or, or so put it on live, right? Yeah, yeah. Live and save the video yeah. Is right, right. Yeah. Put it on live and save the video, and then I can watch it later. Yeah, because I have an interview. I just got a call for supervisor position at a place. It's my second interview, so I can't miss it. Okay, okay, sir. All right, but, guys. Uh, yes, wait, sir, Go ahead, Tony. Sir, we didn't, we, they didn't tell me which one they choose, just um, both two we're persons. To do I don't want to write any wrong information. Tony, we're going I to do have no issue with this. 85. Hold on, hold on. So, um, just to, to do a quick vote. So, if you can raise your hands on persons who vote for the 85K, we're going to do a quick raise hands for that. Sir, you're also included for that as well. So if you can just raise your hand, I think Tony and myself will be looking into the participation chat for a person who will vote for the 85K. There's a, there's a live feature, actually. Where is it? I'm seeing four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. If you can raise your hand, you can just use one of the, um, the reaction. There's seven persons. There's seven persons so far. Seven and out of um. What what was that about? When they are well. voting on the 85k for the event, which is two weeks away. So if you are with it for the 85k, you can raise your hand so we can get the ball rolling and Tony can finish her participation sheet. All right. Nine, nine hands so far. How much persons in the class? 20. So it's just, okay. So, okay, I'm assuming that's everybody who's going to vote for that. Um, Nine, right, Tonya? Nine, yeah, two, four. Um, ten, including four, myself. Ten. So, which one you say, Romario? Um, so you voted for 85K, so you will be the 10th. So I'll be 11. So 11 persons for the 85K. So far, and sir, would make 12. Hold on, the people with them and up for 85, the prayer card? Yes, yes yeah, ma'am. Oh, that's right, don't my name, then, Papa. Who was that? 13. Oh? Jessica? That was Jessica. That's Jessica. Yeah. Okay. Jessica. 13 persons so far. For the 85 key. Okay, guys, can lower your hands. Well, if if 20 people are in the class and 13 raise a hand for that, then majority rules. Yeah. You don't need you don't even need to vote for the other one because that's more than um that's more than half of the, the threshold of the class. All right. Um so I, I know it's a it's a it's a tall or um order students, but you're a tourism students, so you know the, the complexities and the, the kind of dynamics involved so in guess, staging events. If, if everybody contributes, then it would be okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't want to, as I said before, I'm not going to make the final decision. I know I will contribute from my own pocket in terms of the event. Um, what I suggest you guys do is just try to get the ball rolling. Tony and we'll get the, 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 the sheets to you guys tomorrow. I know some persons can, you know, you have friends that you can go to, co-workers or friends and loved ones um, that you can go to and ask them for probably 5,000 or 3,000, you know, they'll give it to you in, the, in, in good spirit. Um, um to, to 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 assist with this particular um thing all right guys and this is how the real world works you're 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 actually doing what is called raising funds for staging an event um so it, that's part of the process so let's continue the discussion on thursday i do not want to um let you be late for your class on thursday no we will get more in specific we'll just we'll continue the discussion about the event to see how, if we have collected any money so far and also now get into the specificities in relation to the elements of feature writing Okay. Have a good night, everybody. Okay. Okay.
Good night. Sir. Thank you Good so night. very much, Good Tony and, and, and Romario, for kind of taking the lead on this, okay? Okay, sir, no problem. All right, bye, guys. Okay, sir. Yeah.